Well, it is 1130 on Monday, Veterans Day, and we've got a cold front that's just hit. And Belton is supposed to get down into the lower uh, to mid-20s the next uh, couple of days. Okay, I think I will clean up my truck since this cold weather is about to hit. I'm going to go ahead and get that done right now. Okay, now, if you watched my video last week, you know that I attended the 11th annual Fall Texas Hammock and Hang Meetup. I can't remember the exact title of it. That was my first time there. I was invited by Ken and Jenny, uh, the discerning hiker. And they had a raffle, and I showed you last week that I won a, uh, a bot water bottle pouch uh, at that raffle. I showed that last week. So I was hoping it would work uh, on my uh, pack here. One reason I've never had any kind of pouch or thing uh, like that uh, on my straps here is because uh, because of my size this is pack is really too small for me and the the thick part that you would hang something like this they're way high on me they're really high uh, on me and so I just never thought one would work and I've used this Osprey has uh, pockets on both sides that's where I put my water sometimes it's inconvenient to get to and oftentimes I, I have to take my pack off uh, when I get water, which might not be a bad thing. It gives me opportunity for a little break. I don't drink my water up too fast maybe, but I've always kind of wanted one up here that's a lot more convenient. So since I w got one for free, I haven't wanted to pay for one <laughs> that might not work. Uh, I went ahead and I put it on here. And so let's try it out and see if it will work. Got it all hooked up. It's got this line right here that I, I think goes over the cap. It's a little tight. Uh, it's not a flexible cord. Uh, it's a little frayed, so I'm probably gonna have to put a new one on there. Maybe a flexible one or make the make the knot a little uh, uh, bigger so it'll fit over, uh, still be snug, but I can get it over easier. Anyway, so that feels comfortable right there. And I, I've got good access, I feel comfortable access to it. Even with that off, it'll flop around more, but and it might fall out if I bend over. So I need it. But uh, so easy access, get a drink, and just slip it right back. Whoop. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Put the uh, cord back over the, the top here. Okay, there we go. Got it. So that keeps it from jiggling around too much. So I like it and I It also not important, but it does match the color of my pack. So that's a plus But uh, so I'm gonna try this out. I think I'm gonna like it now <clears throat> Inside of it. I pointed this out last week inside of it was a card that uh, of the I get the guy who made it and he has a YouTube channel it said on the back of that card uh, first prototype Lone Star Ultralight and so I looked up and he does have a uh, YouTube channel and uh, He showed this on there and he's he's made some other things and he I guess he was there uh, at the meetup uh, uh, He's a hammocker. He's from Texas, so I'm assuming he was there, but anyway, I'm, I'm excited about uh, Having this now and and I think it's gonna work Well, I'm just getting back from Walmart, and I'm going to show you what I got. Okay, uh, many of you are familiar with Hurley, and and some of you get concerned. Make sure he's he's an outside dog, so you want to make sure he's nice and warm during the winter. So uh, I'll just run over real quickly. Some of you may remember this from last year. Yeah, I got those from Walmart. Those are for your doghouse. But he's under the patio here, and... Uh, he has his doghouse is on the mat, a nice fuzzy mat to protect it from the cold of the concrete slab. It's a plastic doghouse, but I have it totally wrapped uh, with a blanket uh, or two, and uh, that helps uh, keep it obviously insulated on the outside. 
and let me show you the inside okay now you can see in the doorway here I've got it where the blanket on the outside it droops down real low uh, in the doorway so that helps keep heat in and keep wind from from blowing in I've got this little board here at the bottom which helps keep his uh, uh, blankets in and now this is a plastic doghouse and I've got it where I, a couple years ago I sprayed some foam insulation all around so that's a good thing there's a little pillow there from the old couch from my house that you really like okay so now this blanket it's big but it's it can get kind of stiff and uh, it you know it's, it's not real malleable so I went and got him a couple of these throws from Walmart so I'm gonna put these in here so he can maneuver them better and cuddle up better. Hey. All right, Herdy, yeah, good boy. Good boy, let me show him now. I think I'm only gonna start off, put one in there. Let's let's take a look, Harley. So, so uh, that looks pretty good. I may put the second one in there, we'll see. I'm gonna see how he does with that, how he likes that one. And all this together, I think, uh, with it's a small dog house, perfect for his size. And his body heat and his long hair, I think he'll, I think he's good during the winter. I decided to put the second one in there. <laughs> Just want to make sure he's good and warm. I think he'll really be able to cuddle up with that. Here, here's a treat. Look at here. Here's a treat, Hurley. I'm going to put it back there. Go on in. Go on in. <laughs> That's a good view. Okay, good boy. Okay, now here's another thing I got at Walmart. It is a reusable uh, Keurig, Keurig thing here. Uh, you know, these can be expensive. And I buy the cheap off-brand stuff because they're like half the price or, or less. And so you just use one of these. Let me see if I can open that. I've been wanting one of these for a while. And that way I can use my Folgers Black Silk Coffee. I went ahead and got the filters. You don't have to have one, but it might be just convenient for cleanup. And I don't have a sink in here in my bedroom, so... I am excited to try this out, and I've packed it full of coffee. All right. Here we go. Okay, time to try it out. Not bad. That's pretty good. I think he likes it. Good Sunday morning, everybody. Well, that's one of the two stickers that uh, Ken, Ken and Jenny gave me uh, last weekend. So, uh, well, uh, it's been a cold week. <laughs> it's been pretty cold, and and this cold is still hanging on. Haven't been able to get rid of it. Seems like it's gotten a little bit worse here in the last few days. But anyway, I'm, it's uh, not quite five o'clock this morning yet and I think once I upload this video I may just try to get me a little bit more shut eye uh, before we go to worship this morning so let's go get on the scale okay well <laughs> two weeks ago I weighed 372.2 then last week uh, I didn't weigh because I was camping with uh, the bearded groundhog, aka the discerning hiker, and uh, and so this morning three seventy two point two, the same exact weight. So, uh, but you know what? 
I'll take that. I'm not going to be disappointed in that. Just got to just got to do better. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.